hand and get the microphone to you. We'll let whoever's ready first. We'll get get you a microphone. Anybody? Jim in the back. Michael, what did it feel like to get back in the win column tonight with that performance of yours? Uh, the, the win felt great. Uh, obviously, we've dropped a few in a row. So uh, we, we've been emphasizing a lot this week to come together, play as a team. Uh, don't worry about anything individually. Uh, just keep playing for the next play, next play, next play. And, uh, I think that's what we did for the most part tonight, and it uh, felt great to come out with the win. Right. Tijon, first start, um, talk a little bit about your uh, first start, how, how it felt, and what, you, what went on out there. Uh, I'm glad I was able to start. Uh, uh, thank Coach for that. Uh, don't take it for granted. And I'm just keep coming in every day. You never know who's starting the game. Malcolm, did you happen to hear the reaction from the crowd when T. John went to the bench? No, I don't know what you're talking about. My, Michael, did you hear it? Honestly, I don't really hear the crowd when I play. So. I'm sure it was loud. Played really well, and I know the crowd loved him. So yeah, I was too busy trying to find where Jock was when the crowd was making noise like this. All I know, I didn't notice it. All right, can Peter? Uh, T. John, what were your nerves like? Uh, there was an extended stretch right before tip off, and they were holding for TV. Were you, you know, were you had? Did you have some butterflies going on during that stretch? Uh, not really. I'll just make sure I'm focused. Uh, Remembering what the first play is and all that other stuff, I'm focused on that before I'm nervous. It really wasn't nervous, it was just more ready. It was tape on me. Malcolm, getting back to your covering jock tonight, uh, was did that was that one of the more tiring performances you've had on defense? Mm, yeah, I'll say so. I mean, because he's really shifting and crafty with his body off the ball. And he's good with the ball, too. So, I mean, I just try to stay attached to him as best as possible. And he has great screeners, too. You know, I think they set pretty good screens. So, I was just trying to find my way to move through the screens and then try to guard him on the, when he had the ball, too, and the on ball. So, yeah. Tijan, you've had to work your way um, through, you know, to get a starting spot from guys like, you know, Jalen and Tracy, veteran guys. Where do you think you've made the most strides as you, you know, throughout this season? Uh, every day, you just got to come in with the mindset of getting better. Uh, that's what I've been doing. I never know when I'm going to play. You just got to be able to come out and practice, play hard, and the time has come. It's a process. Malcolm, what, what does Tijan provide here? <laughs> what, what does Tijan provide for you guys, and, and how have you seen him grow recently? Uh, he's a great playmaker. Um, I think he makes great choices on the court, you know. He has his fair share of turnovers every now and then, but that doesn't really, I don't really care about that. I mean, he had the one late, but, you know, stuff happens. I mean, he's still a freshman. I think he's grown so much throughout the season. I mean, you know, there was a point where he wasn't playing at all. He wasn't in the rotation, you know. So, for him to keep his head up, you know, you know trying to, then he, you know, to revenge of the opportunity, kind of like looking back at my freshman year, that's what it reminds me of, honestly. And, you know, as long as he keeps working hard, you know, and he, he's great for our team. Yeah. Um, Michael, I'm going to do a phone chime in. That's good. Um, but can you talk about the importance of the uh, aggressive start and uh, the difference that made? Uh, the start too, uh, to send a message from the beginning. I think we're going to tighten up and I think we'll start what it was. And, I mean, that's huge. Send a message uh, right out the gates. And, uh, I mean, just having that momentum. I mean, we've been on the other side a fair share of times this year, and it's not good. It's hard to come back and you dig, you dig a hole for yourself. So uh, that was great for us, and I thought we uh, really kept it going. Thank you. Guys, uh, obviously you probably celebrate the win tonight for a little bit, then get back to work tomorrow. How do you, what do you take from this game to help you on the road? Obviously, it's been a struggle to take on the road to try to play better on the road this weekend. I think, um, I think um, <clears throat> we have to do a better job of closing games. We let them crawl back into it a little bit, you know, gave them a little hope, gave them a little life. We kind of, you know, lost our presence on defense a little bit when we were up big, you know, but I don't know, 
the biggest thing, like you said, we can learn from that uh, with the win. You know, we're learning with the win. So I think the biggest thing is uh, just getting ready, learn from this, and get ready for Penn State because um, they're they're a really good basketball team now. They, they have great youth. You know, so um, just get ready for them and get ready for on the road. Brad. Michael, you're shooting the ball extremely well in Big Ten play, almost 60% from three. I think it's over the last five games, you're like 73% from the field overall. What has been the, the change? Obviously, it's not the Big Ten defense getting weaker. It's, so what's been the change for you to, uh, that you attribute that to? Just confidence in reps. Uh, there's been things throughout the season where I could have tweaked a little bit. Uh, maybe faded on my shot a couple times, maybe not getting the ball up as much. But I uh, really try not to think about that as much. Just keep shooting it. I always say shoot or shoot. And that's what you got to keep doing, whether you're making or missing. Uh, you can't think about the last one. Just keep it going. And right now, it seems to be going up. Yeah, Michael, and just, does it seem like or feel like the offense just flows you know, better with T. John and Ryan? Like that? it's, it's, that's what it looks like, at least. Yeah, I mean, all, I think all our point guards bring a lot to the table. Uh, when T. John's out there, he's obviously uh, he's looking for others to, to create and get others involved in the offense. And I, I think all of our point guards do a great job with that. But uh, it, it's fun playing with T. John, and i uh, really looking forward to playing with him the next few years. Any last questions for the players? One more with Scott. And Malcolm, you talked about you know, how much you, you know that Finky can do on the court. Just yeah. to see a game like this where maybe he had maybe he had some more opportunities and still took advantage of them. Is that kind of what you expect? Well, yeah, I mean, every shot you shoot is I expect to go in. The same with all of our guys. I mean, you know, as long as you, you know keep his confidence high, I mean, it's, it's a blessing to have a big man that can shoot the ball and spread the court. And so, yeah. So as long as he keeps it up, and I think he's been doing other things well too. You know, I think his defense has been improving. He's getting better. You know, rebounding the ball. So you know, it's more to this. It's more than just shooting with him. He's getting better, and I think that's going to be the highlight because he's shooting about 80 percent from three. But I think he's been getting overall better. He's been getting better as a player all around. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.